Nurtel Vision is a cloud-based, patient-activated diagnostic platform which really is driving the change in patient diagnostics in this particular space. If you think about it, um, our first application for AMD is linking phys physician-driven uh, diagnosis and treatment to patient-activated treatment in a combination basis. And we're, we're the, the bond between those two situations. So our innovation over the last 10 years has been focused on physician-driven diagnos diagnosis and treatment, the successful introduction of both uh, effective treatment and accurate diagnosis has certainly changed the paradigm for the treatment of AMD. And we can see that as a consequence of that, significant markets have evolved. I think what is disappointing is that the outcomes as we look 10 years afterwards aren't as, as good as we initially anticipated when Anchor and Marina were published. On top of that, you know, the, the change in the movement to treating the patient from a patient perspective and a diagnostic is in the forefront of thinking strategically, I think, for the academy and people involved in the ophthalmic space. And if you think about no television, we're riding three critical waves. Early disease detection, providing better outcomes. Technology-enabled remote diagnosis and, uh, and uh, detection. And lastly, as we approach the end of the decade, this consequence of the change from input to output-based reimbursement, where certainly uh, ophthalmology is facing a significant challenge. So basically, we know that there's a significant uh, opportunity to link the switch from dry to wet AMD. And within weeks, patients can significantly lose vision with, if they're not treated or diagnosed and treated at a point in time. And basically the challenge is finding which patients are gonna turn from dry to wet, and it becomes a lottery-based platform. If the patient was uh, within uh, a day or two before or the next visit to the ophthalmologist or the retinal specialist, they're likely to be detected. But if they were just after, they're less likely to be detected. And we know that there's a narrow window for treatment uh, after the onset of, of wet AMD. So therefore, it turns into a lottery for the patient when and if they see their doctor. On top of that, the vast majority of uh, wet AMD patients are, are diagnosed too late. We all see you know, the eye chart, 2200 leak or blindness, 2020 normal vision. Uh, but at 2040, people take away your car keys, you're not allowed to drive anymore. And that's become the reality that 70% of patients no longer have functional vision at diagnosis. And on top of that, uh, at baseline to treatment, uh, there's been an 18-letter decline. And you think in contrast to drug therapy, no matter what it is, mono or combination therapy, the best we've seen so far is eight to nine letters of gain. So there's a major gap between what we could have gotten at onset of, treat, onset of disease to subsequent treatment. The current disease uh, detection options are either too infrequent or insensitive. On the one hand, as I indicated, the patient was fortunate enough to uh, go to the doctor's appointment and have the OCT diagnosed. That's fantastic, but it doesn't happen in the cadence in which the disease occurs. On the bottom right-hand corner, so that's a very clinically robust platform. On the bottom right, you've got uh, Amsler grids, you have the newspaper tests, you have uh, app-based platforms, which are not clinically robust, uh, whilst they provide tremendous convenience. And in research we've done, the medical community finds uh, the lack of clinical robustness a problem for the devices that have been available on the, the bottom right-hand quadrant. So therefore, you know, what, what is going to connect these two together? And it's our pioneering in, in, in innovation for our, our 4C home, which is patient-activated, clinically robust early disease detection, which has been validated through a significant uh, NEI study. So, you know, 94% of patients maintained functional vision, uh, and it was an objective measure which was highly sensitive. From a convenience perspective, it's a three-minute test per eye. It has unique design to deal with the, the older population which uh, wet AMD invades. And we have a proven platform which has 3,000 patients currently meet, 
uh, diagnosed in the US or, or followed in the US, two million tests. And we've seen in this data that uh, patients are testing four to five times a week. We have a FDA cleared, CE marked, and Medicare covered platform, which is driven of this, uh, the PHP science that underpins uh, 4C Home. On top of that, I talked about this cloud-based platform where we have the patient on the one hand and the physician on the other. And what happens is that the data is automatically collected from the patient, and if they don't uh, uh, use the device during a certain times of the week. There's an, a patient a reminder that comes back to them. And we're finding a remarkably high convenience, uh, a, a compliance rate with this particular process. And this is all cloud-based, which provides us with a tremendous opportunity to think about other ways in which we can utilize this technology from a diagnostic perspective. Once the uh, device detects a switch from dry to wet, a, uh, an activation notice is sent to the, uh, the retinal specialist who then office then contacts the patient. So we complete the loop between patient and doctor by taking the hard work of that through our cloud platform and advising the complete, complete loop. Both the patient and the doctor uh, becomes advised. So finally, what we're doing is completing the missing link between the physician-driven element and the patient-activated element, and basically taking uh, AMD treatment to a new level. And at the moment, we're rolling out from a test market to a, uh, a commercially driven platform across the US in uh, 2017. And we're busy executing that particular challenge. So I want to thank you for your attention. And my contact details are on the slide in good selling form. Thank you.